like the abs on that one. Dang. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Where, where's Justin? Just, Justin? Justin? Yeah, Justin? Woo! <laughs> Dude, I just lost five pounds. All right. <laughs> Way to go. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, you want your hand, man? And you're watching WGST on YouTube. Hello everyone, welcome to another installment of WGS TV right here on youtube.com slash WrestleGamer and ZFX TV. I'm the WrestleGamer, Double B, Bully Boudreaux. I've got a couple of guys to introduce you to first off from YouTube.com slash Lance Moss TV. He is our resident music mogul. He is the incomparable Lance Moss. Lance, how you doing? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me. And making his return, triumphant return to WGS TV. He is your own WWE fan himself. Jordan is here. Jordan, how you doing? Thanks for having me. I'm doing good. We're going to be talking about traditional championship wrestling for the week of June 28th, 2013. And we open up with a, ma uh, a matchup. Again, the feud with the, uh, the faction known as Genetic Perfection continues with the New Orleans Fight Club. As we saw all that, Alan Steele, accompanied by Rich Rude, the man who commonly now wears a dress in traditional championship wrestling, uh, kind of putting the, the late, great Brian Pillman to shame. I wonder how many of you guys out there will remember that gimmick in the WWE. But uh, took on uh, Steve Anthony. Now, I've said it for the longest time, you know, you know, having the opportunity to finally see Steve Anthony, uh, his work, you know, his in-ring work, you know, he's got good quality in-ring work. Promo-wise, you know, I really don't, we really don't need to see too much of, of, of that because it really wasn't that good. But uh, in-ring work is a definitely, definitely a, a, a different story. It was a, a great match. Um, the finish of the match came, of course, with Steve Anthony getting the win over Alan Steele, getting that victory. Um, it, it was um, Alan Steele tried to do a, a, a fisherman suplex, and Steve Anthony countered it into a... A, a small package getting the win. Now the referee at the end of the match did give the little sign, the little cross signs, uh, you know, signifying injury. So I, I don't know if there was a, a legit injury or, or a significant injury to Steve Anthony. I am not sure uh, what's going on at that point because after that small package, he couldn't get up, Lance. Um, I, I don't know if you caught that, but you know, it, it, I, I don't know. What did it look like to you? Do you think that Steve Anthony might have gotten injured in that match? Maybe because a couple of them spots got him mighty. Like the uh, Alabama slam out of the corner. He mm -hmm. might have got himself messed up, you know? Yeah, well, um, I guess only time will tell, uh, you know, as to uh, what's going on with Steve Anthony. But as far as my score for the match, I got to go four out of five. I'm, like I said, I'm a big fan of Steve Anthony's in-ring work from what I've seen. You know, I've heard so much about it. And, you know, finally, finally with traditional championship wrestling uh, coming on the air over here in Louisiana, you know, big opportunity. I'm, and, of course, I, I never pass it up. And... Like I said, I, th I thought it was good in-ring work with Steve Anthony and <laughs> Alan Steele. Rich Road in the dress, uh, it's got me more confused than Bobo the teddy bear. I just don't, <laughs> I, I, I just don't understand it. Yeah. You know, um, I did get a chance to talk with Scott Phoenix, uh, uh, GCW star and uh, TCW star t uh, too. And uh, he, he kind of, uh, well... He says it's you know it's a uh, very comedic uh, for uh, for wrestling and you know in, in some aspects I, I kind of agree with what he said about it. It's just you know very confusing, you know. But um anyway we we pan to the back and uh, Michael Tarver's getting ready for his international heavyweight championship match against the seven foot two three hundred and fifty plus uh, monster Titan. 
where he gets approached by Tim Storm. Tim Storm apparently has been on the receiving end of attacks from the Empire. Um, Matt Riviera making references to a new person coming in and to join and joining the the Empire and. Tim Storm thought that, you know, since he was friends with Tarver and the fact that Tarver was making his debut of sorts in TCW, that, you know, you wanted to make sure that, you know, it wasn't him because uh, Matt Riviera has been known to buy, uh, buy people out. It, it, it kind of somewhat reminiscent of the Million Dollar Man's uh, Ted DiBiase's uh, storyline that he did when he had a Million Dollar Incorporated, Lance. Wouldn't you kind of think that? Yes, I do, actually. <laughs> Except for, well... No teddy bear. That and uh, Matt Revere don't dra- dress as flashy. <sighs> yeah, definitely. So that's what we happened uh, happened upon in that promo. Then we transitioned to the tag team title match. Backstage, Michael Berry and Buku Dow were cutting a, a promo. Now, Jordan, I, has anyone told you the... Um, the translation of Buku Dao's name in English? No, not really. <laughs> well, we're, we're going to tell you after this review is over, but... Yeah, buddy. Le- 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 let's just say it's, um... Dirty. Very. <laughs> yeah, but, um... Now, we transition to this match with, uh... If the tag team titles on the line, Cerebus and Roosevelt... Of the Bradford family and Boyd Bradford and I, I still say this, Jordan Boyd Bradford kind of looks like a mutant offspring of Jim Cornette and Paul Heyman. I, I yeah. and not only that, to me it kind of looks like he's got Botox injected into his face because you never see him change his facial expression. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> it's like the dude's either high, stupid, or he's got Botox in his face. Or all three. Or all three. <laughs> but, um, Jordan, what are your thoughts about this tag team title match? Um, you know, well, yeah, what are, you, what are your thoughts on it? It was a good title match, my thought. What did you think about Buku Dao? A weird, strange person. No, I talked about it on my, on last week's TCW review, Jordan. Uh, um, I don't know who's got worse English, uh, Buku Dao or Funaki. Funaki. <laughs> yeah. Well, he was still SmackDown's number one. Number one. one. Oh, indeed. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, it turns out that um, Sarah Bess and Roosevelt retain the tag team titles. Um, Michael Barrett <laughs> got taken out on the outside, which left. Uh, Buku Dao to take the uh, euthanasia finisher from Cerebus and Cerebus and Roosevelt and the Bradford family retain the tag team titles. Um, how would you score that match, Jordan? Uh, 8 out of 10, probably. Well, uh, up next, um, Lance, we actually had an appearance by the innovator of violence in wrestling, the one, the only Tommy Dreamer is in TCW, and he's got a score to settle with one Matt Riviera, does he not? Oh, you are so right. Well, talk, about, talk about what was said in this promo and what happened. Basically, one well, one he patted the fans, calling them uh, hard, sick, hardcore freaks, which down in Mississippi, yeah, I'd agree with that. Uh, and before we all get on, saying get any uh, hate mail in the... Uh, in the Comment section, I go down to, quite often to Mississippi to party, so yeah, there's that. Uh, he said, basically, and he freaking loves that. And he came back to TCW for one guy, Matt Riviera, because he doesn't want him to destroy TCW like another uh, billionaire destroyed ECW. I'm not going to say any names, but <coughs> Vince... <laughs> And then he says he's going to destroy the Empire. Then Matt Riviera, the uh, Golden Boy, Gray Anthony, and Lance Hoyt jump in, tr- jump on, basically come down, try to jump uh, Dreamer. But then he has backup. 
in the form of Greg Anthony and Tarver. No, Tim Storm and Tarver. You know okay, yeah, doing. Storm and Tarver. You lure him out. They come to his aid and get him, make uh. Then we go for the kill. Those other three guys. Is how I draw him out. Get, dr- run out of the ring. Get him rabbit. Yep. Following that promo, we actually have an an announcement from Colonel Parker, who is in charge of making matches now for Traditional Championship Wrestling. On the next TCW installment of Traditional Championship Wrestling, Lance Hoyt, the American Psycho, will be defending the TCW Heavyweight Championship against the innovator of violence, Tommy Dreamer. And as soon... As soon as we get the chance, ladies and gentlemen, uh, especially on next week's TCW Review, we will have the American psycho Lance Hoyt with us to talk about his match. Whether he wins or loses, he will be here on the next installment of the TCW Review on WGS-TV. So be sure you guys uh, look forward to that coming this, this weekend. So Lance Hoyt will be here on the review talking about his match. So how would you talk? How would you rate the segment with Tommy Dreamer, Lance? Four out of five. Excellent promo. Definitely. Now let's look towards the main event for traditional championship wrestling, the international heavyweight championship on the line. Titan. The seven foot two, three hundred fifty pound monster, accompanied by Lily, who whose mic work is still yet to be desired. You know, I don't know what, who's worse on the microphone, Lily or I don't know. I can't think of anyone else. Maybe Heath Slater. But uh, it, it well Oksana. How about that? You know, yeah, it's, it's your hard. favorite. Yeah, my yeah. Thanks a lot, Lance. Anyway, um. Now, they take on Tarver. Now, they, they seem to work really well. Um, I still don't understand how they call Michael Tarver world-renowned, where the only other place we've seen him is on NXT and the WWE. Um, yeah, but I will I will say this, though. They did uh, – Tarver did take a – you know, Tarver got stiffed a lot in this match, Lance. Wouldn't you agree? Oh yeah. And what do you think they did? By I mean, yeah, they they really played up Titan to be like, uh, you know, the big monster uh, champion, you know, like like Big Show would normally do. And um, I, I will say this though, Titan could be WWE bound. He could be WWE bound. What have you but, uh, heard anything? Um, I haven't heard anything. Um, I haven't heard anything, but um, I w- w- we'll say this though. I'm I'm actually kind of uh impressed with uh, his in-ring work as a super heavyweight. Yeah. But uh, because it, it, it was an interesting match. Now they did try to play it up to Tarver maybe having a chance, but one choke slam later, boom, Tarver was done. The Titan gets the pin and retains the international heavyweight championship. Overall score on traditional championship wrestling this week is going to get a four out of five for me. I thought the opening match with Steve Anthony and Allen still was good, uh, but I still think, you know, what is the deal with the dress on Rich Rude? You know, you know, is it, you know, is he a freak of some sort, you know, or is he contractually obligated to wear the je- the dress? Because I, I kind of heard them kind of play it play it that way on commentary that he was contractually obligated to wear a dress. Um. The, the tag match with Cerberus and Roosevelt taking on Michael Berry and Buku Dow. Um, like, Boyd Bradford scares me. You know, there's something about the dude, the way he walks, and the fact that he has uh, no facial expressions whatsoever. It kind of makes it look, look like he's a, like a, a sex offender or something like that. You know, he just doesn't, you know, you, you just got that look. You know, even when he's laughing, he's like a robot. He just moves his mouth up and down. Kind of makes me wonder, is Boyd Bradford actually alive or some sort of weird animatronic robot? Uh, uh, the, the segment with Tommy Dreamer talking about Matt Revere and the Empire, and then he gets gang attacked by uh, Lance Hoyt and Golden Boy Greg Anthony, and then we have uh, Mike, uh, Michael Tarver and Tim Storm coming to help him. I thought it was good, and ladies and gentlemen, again, don't forget, on the next TCW review here on WGS-TV, we will be talking 
with the American Psycho Lance Hoyt about his title match against the innovator of violence, Tommy Dreamer, you know, his thoughts and, you know, his reactions to what happened. So be sure you uh, look forward to that on the next TCW review. And then the international heavyweight title match with Titan retaining against Tarver. I thought it was a good idea to keep the title on Tarver, despite the fact he's got an Oksana-like manager who can't cut a promo for life dependent on it. Um, but other than that, I really think that, you know, it was a, a smooth main event. I, so I got to go four out of five. Lance, I'm going to go to you first. Uh, your overall score and thoughts on TCW this week. Overall score, four out of five. Got to leave a little bit of room for improvement. Because you always got to leave a little bit of room for improvement, y'all know? Mm -hmm. And basically, I like everything you're, you pretty much just said. Don't really understand the whole dude in a dress thing, except for it, it is traditional for somebody to lose a match. Though it is kind of a traditional where so, if somebody's in like a... Uh, that has happened in the past before, so okay. So yeah, and yep. Yeah, all in all, really good show. All right, and uh, let's go to Jordan next. Jordan, your overall score and thoughts. Oh, let's see, four out of five. It needs a little over improvement and good storylines for some of it. <clears throat> Well, as we slowly reveal to Jordan that Buku getting down means suck a certain part of your body, we want to know from you guys out there, the <laughs> viewers and subscribers, your thoughts on traditional championship wrestling this week. Be sure you put your comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and favorite this video. Lance, what can fans expect to see when they come to visit your channel over on YouTube.com slash Lance Moss TV? Album reviews, which thank God I just got done with the 15 and 16 and 15. But anyway... Album, re yeah, wrestling reviews and NASCAR reviews and whatever else pops into my head. Ladies and gentlemen, our own WWE fan Jordan is on YouTube himself. Jordan, tell fans where they can check you out. Twenty-one Jordan fan. Uh, I also do sometimes NASCAR reviews with Matt Moss TV and wrestling reviews too. On Uvu. Yeah. Check it out. Fans, also don't forget to please subscribe to youtube.com slash wrestlegamer and youtube.com slash TV network. So, for the incomparable Lance Moss from Lance Moss TV and our own WWE fan known as Jordan, I'm the Wrestle Gamer, Double B Bunny Boudreaux, saying thank you very much for watching. I'd like to remind everyone that tonight's, uh, today's review of TCW has been brought to you by our, our Instagive game show guru, James brand new charity chair shots for the homeless <laughs>